<laughs> Valley comic book artist is offering free drawing lessons for kids who are autistic and also special needs. Yeah, Des is live to talk about why this project is so special to the artist. What a great story, Morning, Des. Hey, Des. Hey, good morning. Yeah, Yvonne, I've been chatting with her. She's so talented, you guys. Look at here, some of her drawings um, that she's done. Uh, so Yvonne, first of all, let's just talk about um, your art form, your work. Um, you draw comics. Tell me um, where we would see your work and what comic books. Okay, um, so my name's Yvonne Wan. I'm a local comic creator. Um, I created one of the world's first autistic superheroes, and his name is Focus. And um, yeah, he's autistic and that's part of his superpower. He can predict crime based on probability and um, protect, um, uh, protect the country. Um, and um, it's very, very exciting. And um, I'm teaching kids how to draw military vehicles for six weeks in Tempe. Yeah, that's really exciting. So you were mentioning that some you have interns who are autistic and mm -hmm. some of their work is published. Mm -hmm. So now you're opening up this opportunity for other kids in the Valley uh, to learn this art form. So tell us what you're doing, that six-week program you just mentioned. For the six-week program, we are learning how to draw different military vehicles representing different arms of the military. So Let's see them. Here they are, you guys. She's going to click through. These ones are kind of finished, right? Yes. This is the F-15, and we'll be drawing a battleship, um, a Cobra helicopter, a Coast Guard boat, and also a cargo truck as well. That's really exciting. So let's walk over. You have some workspace here. So you saw some of her drawings, kind of how they start. Um, so you draw them out on the paper, you map them out, and then Yvonne will then ink them on the paper. Sometimes you said you do it on the computer, uh, but what do we have here? So we have a F-15 uh, fighter jet here, and it's the uh, state-of-the-art um, military uh, fighter jet. And um, yeah, so I did this with a uh, pencil. And um, what I did was I actually inked it digitally for um, this program, but I'm just gonna ink this with a Copic pen. Okay, so this is a six week program. Has it already started? And for uh, kids who are watching and they're like, mom, dad, this is something I wanna do. Is it too late for them to take part? Um, we are accepting students up, up until um, was it September the 10th? So um, they get to join any time they want. Each week we're drawing a different military vehicle. So I'd love if they can sign up before August the 7th so that they can draw all five military uh, vehicles uh, to complete their collection. So they get to draw a military vehicle, they get to draw a focus autistic superhero, and they get to draw themselves as a technical engineer or as a superhero. Wow. Okay, and you see the process right now of her drawing um, that uh, fighter jet, you guys. Obviously, that was sped up because um, this takes some time, but this program is all um, done on Zoom, so it makes it really easy for anyone to take part. Yes, um, the cool thing about this program is that the kids get to um, draw on Zoom. They get to uh, present their art to uh, students in person at the uh, Justice Comic Store uh, when they graduate. Um, we're all about celebrating um, autistic talent within the community. And I think it's something that they should be proud of um, once they complete the program because they get to see their finished artwork um, exhibited in a cool comic store. Yeah, this is something close to your heart. Why is that? Um, I have someone close to me with autism, um, and I think it's really important that we give kids with autism and special needs encouragement to fulfill their creative potential because I think they can achieve amazing stuff. You know, if they, yeah. you just have to work hard. Yeah, I agree. So, you guys, this program is free, six weeks, all on Zoom, but you're having a special graduation ceremony that will be in Tempe, though, for the kids that do participate. Mm hmm and I'm gonna convert their artwork into a certificate achievement that resembles a Focus comic cover. So it's gonna have the Focus logo on the top, their artwork, so it's gonna be something that they can be really, really proud of and they can imagine themselves as a professional. And that graduation's at where? Justice Comics, right, Justice in Tempe? Comics, yeah, okay. um, September the 18th at 10 a.m. All right, incredible, you guys. So you gotta get online. Uh, how do we reach you? Uh, focuscomic.com, they can sign up there and I'd love to have as many students as possible in the program. All right, you guys, we'll send it back to you. You can see how talented oh. she is. Isn't that crazy? It is yeah. so great. One of the world's first autistic superheroes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And to be able to draw like that and then uh, show your talent. Yeah, look at that. And so many times children with special needs they have or who have autism does thank you so much. They are so much more you, artistically Des. inclined.
they're very much right-brained and they can do some amazing artistic things. Mm. It's really great.